So what about early stage assets where there are no cash flows? And our, our speakers will talk a bit about that later on, but before we get to them, let me give you our answer that we came up with at the time. For early stage assets that offer no cash flows, there are two things that you can do. One is you can actually issue more debt than you need and take some of that debt and use it to pay interest in the early years. Now, I know that actually sounds like fraud, but believe me, it's not. It, it sounds like a scam, but this is what's done in commercial, back, uh, commercial real estate back securities all the time. When you're building a shopping mall, you're not going to get cash flows until after the shopping mall is built and the renters come and start generating cash flows. But the way that commercial backed mortgages work is that they will issue a little bit more money than they need in order to pay the interest early in the early years and they will disclose that to the bondholders so that they understand. And the bondholders appreciate that because they need to have regular cash flows. That's part of what they're buying. And it's just a matter of changing their capital structure. It's completely legit. But the other approach is to focus on dynamic leverage, which is to say, in the early years, don't issue debt. Start with equity, and as you get cash flows, you then start leveraging up. And so in a paper that we published a couple of years ago, we actually showed you how you can go about doing that. It's not complicated, very straightforward. It's actually done on a regular basis in other industries. 